Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So we are going to conduct another video tutorial for PKT in app programming uh, with the help of C language. And in this video tutorial, we are starting our bit manipulation operations and most of them are logical operations. So in this video tutorial, what we are going to study is about logical and operation and we will be learning the operator that we are going to use that is ampersand sign or and sign uh, which is usually read as and so uh, let's see how one is going to use it right uh, so for example if you are going to take two different data for example let's say we are talk talking about eight bit uh, number let's say we are we are interested in uh, two numbers and we want to add them sorry we want to add them so that be that's a 7f and the other number we are going to assume it 0 uh, x 4 6 right so these are the two numbers in which we want to perform and operation right so if you want to perform and operation you have to write logical and sign between them or ampersand sign between them so what is going to happen these two values this is an 8 bit value in hexadecimal this is another 8 bit value in hexadecimal both of these values are going to add right so how let's proceed and verify it so first of all what i'm going to do uh, 7f as it is logical operation and logical operation is always performed on a bit level that is why these operators are also known as bit manipulation operator, right? So we will convert them into bits or binary numbers. So 0, uh, 7, 7F will become 0, 1 for 7 and F would become 4 times 1, right? So this is uh, binary equivalent of 7F. And similarly, we will write the next number, which is 4, 6. I'm doing it manually so that you can understand it. 0, 1, double 0. Uh, eventually one is going to write and see so these things will be more automatic but i want to explain them how these operations are working so just for explanation purpose i'm writing it here so if you are going to perform the logical and operation so what is it going to be zero zero would become what zero one one would become one one zero would become zero one zero would become zero and one zero would become what zero one one would become one another one and last zero right so uh, one can also say that uh, the result in hexadecimal the equal in hexadecimal would be what four f sorry four six hex right so if i'm going to and these two numbers which number let me highlight it again for you these two numbers these two numbers so result would be what uh, 0, 1, double 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, which means in hexadecimal it will become 4, 6, right? 4, 6, right? So uh, this is what I've done manually. But if I want to write, if I want to do these things in C, what is going to happen or what is what instruction I'm going to use? Uh, so for that purpose, what I'm going to do is uh, I will simply write the two numbers 7f and then ampersand sign uh, which shows it is a logical and operation then hexadecimal number 46 and simple semicolon so this is the instruction which is going to work in uh, c language to perform the and operation between the two 8-bit numbers and remember here in this specific example i have taken 7f and 46 are those numbers so uh, to implement it uh, this logical and operator in c language program for pig 18f microcontroller let's consider an example so before i'm going to consider an example let's uh, uh, consider that just to understand let's say port c is our input port and we will be inputting a 8 bit number from that another port b is our input port and we will be putting what another input number uh, using that port b and whatever what we want to do we perform we want to perform 
and operation between these two numbers which are being received to the microcontroller through port C and port D and we want to add it right and whatever the result the end operation result we want to display it or send it to port B so port B will be our what output port so we are going to uh, perform this operation and remember output is what the end let me write it output is basically end operation of both inputs right so this is what we want to do right so to perform this thing in c uh, code let's write the code so we know that uh, this time i'm going to write a complete code so that you can easily understand it right so what i'm going to write uh, hash include the 18f452 dot h right this is just our header file and i'm writing it uh, just to make it sure that so that it works correctly in c compiler when we are going to build it and inshallah in next video i'm going to explain you also how one can compile the c uh, code for pick 18f microcontroller and implement it into proteus right so white man white this is the basic structure that i have already explained you we through in the start of the video tutorial so this is our main body of the program and now i'm gonna explain the stuff or i'm gonna use the stuff remember uh, okay let me just uh, So this is the example that I'm gonna implement it. This is the kind of example that I'm I'm implementing using the code, right? So let's come back to the code. Uh, okay, so what should be the very first thing that I should do? I should define uh the input ports and output ports so to define input ports we can simply write press t uh press c uh equals to zero x ff right and for press d it also be equals to zero x ff semicolon and similarly i want to define port b as a so I will have to write 0x00 zero zero zero, or since it is 0, so I can simply write 0, right? So this was the basic stuff that we have already learned in the last video tutorials in which, in which we were following the basic structure and the input output programming of codes, right? So now I'm going to write the basic code, which I'm interested here. So we know that port B is output port right port b is output port and that we want to make what end operation of both c and port d so port c ampersand sign right ampersand sign and then port d right i'm gonna just adjust it so that one can see it and then semicolon that's it so this is the line you want to write and it will indicate that whatever the value coming from port c and port d since both of them are defined as a input or input port in these two lines uh, press c and press d and then whatever the result will happen it will store in port b and port b will send it to the output right so this is the code right but we know that this thing uh, eventually data is coming from input port so this data uh, which is coming from input port may change so we want to perform this specific operation in infinite loop remember i have ex already explained you the stuff that whatever the code we, for which we are going to run the microcontroller we want to run it for infinite uh, time period so that is why what we do we put the main operation in infinite loop right let me just adjust the yeah so i'm just uh, adjusting the size so that i can actually display the complete code so yeah so this is the line that i want to put in the infinite loop and for infinite loop what i'm gonna do while while one because it will always be true and in while we have only one instruction right 
So I can I don't need to define this uh, round bracket, but just to show you the complete structure I'm using here uh, these braces. Otherwise, it was not needed since it, this while loop has only one instruction, which is port B equal to port C and port D, right? So this is the uh, this is the main code which will perform this function. Remember the function. What is the function? The microcontroller has three ports: port C and port D. Both are defined as input port. Let me show you the, where these are defined as input port. Uh, press C and press D has become equals to what? Uh, input port and then press B equals to zero. This lining is defined as for output port of port B. And this is the structure in which uh, I'm running a infinite loop. This is the area and the main line, which is basically uh, performing the main operation is end operation between port C and port D, right? So this is the simplest code in which one can actually uh, perform this operation, uh, what we are uh, aim to do it, right? So I hope you have understand uh, this tutorial. If you have any confusion regarding logical end operation and the basic structure of C programming uh, code for microcontroller pick 18F, right? So you can post your comments in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.